Hi guys, good morning. Let me just move this back. Ugh, don't wanna drop it. <laughs> good morning, you guys. Um, we are going to have a talk. <laughs> um, <laughs> nothing bad, um, but just stuff that I wanna talk about and just stuff that's on my mind and just stuff that I wanna kinda like put out there because um, it's just on my mind, so why not? Um, this is going to be a lengthy video and it might be separated in parts because <clears throat> I'm probably going to have disruptions. Um, my husband's been texting me getting like info because it's his orientation day today. So of course they need like all of our personal information and then, <laughs> and then my mom might be calling me later because she has to give me her flight information since I'm gonna be house sitting in a couple days. So, <laughs> so they might be calling. So if I just get interrupted, you guys won't notice, but I'll probably have to do this video in parts. Um, I'm also still congested, a little bit congested, so I'm just gonna freaking whip out the tissue and blow my nose on camera if it gets to that point. So I apologize ahead of time. <clears throat> okay, so if you guys are watching this, you could set me aside, listen if you like. Um, if you want to watch, you can watch, but there's not going to be a whole lot of me showing you anything because there's really not much to show. <laughs> Actually, there's like nothing to show. It's just me drinking coffee and then eventually my timer is going to go off and I'm going to get my little um, blueberry bread out of the oven. So that's going to be my breakfast with some strawberries. So other than that, it's just me talking. So today, <laughs> today I wanted to talk about the topic of spirituality um, and your freedom of choice and your ability to believe what you want to believe. Um, so um, a couple days ago, we, um, in, in our little online spiritual community, tarot community, witchy community, whatever you want to call it, um, there was um, a, a, a video of a YouTuber slash tarot reader that I used to follow, that I would follow all the time. Um, she made a video about her leaving, she's moving on to a different belief path. And um, so she did, She put her video out, it was an amazing video, beautiful video, um, and I really enjoyed it, and I really enjoyed the closure that she gave um, us as her YouTube viewers, people who were her clients. Um, I never got a reading from her personally, but I did enjoy her content and I really loved her videos. So um, she gave us that opportunity to have closure. Um, but with that video comes, you know, obviously there's a wave of, of questions or a wave of confusion with certain people and, and just people who, um, like myself, um, who can feel a little bit feeling their foundation rocked. Now, um, it's natural and it's normal to have that experience. And I wanted to make sure that I, I said that because um, I have had maybe two or three people in my DMs on Instagram asking questions about regarding another um, I keep wanting to say YouTuber because I always, I would, I would pretty much follow her mostly on YouTube, not on Instagram. Um, but <laughs> asking about a tarot, another tarot reader leaving the path for the Christian faith. And, um, and it's, it stirs up a lot of like nervousness. It stirs up a lot of confusion. There's my bread. Hang on one second, guys. <laughs> So rather than eating it right away, I'm gonna let it sit and cool down for a little bit. And I'm sorry guys, I gotta do this. <laughs> I'm so tired of being sick. I'm so over it. 
Make sure I have no boogers hanging on my nose. <laughs> okay. Um, so it stirs up a lot of confusion and concern, and likely so. I mean, I, I get it. I was, <laughs> I was um, very much stirred up and concerned and just bothered when um, another tarot reader left, and this was in 2018, last year. So um, I think it was 2018. I think it's been a full year. We're going on, we're gonna be on two years now since she's been gone. Um, and that, that one really bothered me. One, because um, I had just met her in person a few months prior to her leaving. So it was just, it confused me because I had no idea that this was going on in her mind. So um, it just comes as a shock. And I think it comes as a shock for a lot of us because we, we start to idolize, even though we shouldn't do this, but we do, we start to idolize people that we look at, that we watch. And we see them as in, in, um, like inspiring people. We see them as um, just when you idolize somebody, you, you tend to place them up on a higher pedestal than yourself, right? You, you look at them as somebody that you want to be like. You want to be like them. You want to live their life. You want to look like them or you want to act like them or you want to have the same connections that they have or the same amount of followers that they have or whatever. That's the life that we live in these days with social media. We are very much, um, um, I'm like the words at the top of my tongue and I can't think about it. <laughs> Influenced. We are influenced by so many people because social media does that. Um, and so I'm guilty of it. I've been influenced by many people. I idolize a lot of people and it's something that I try not to do because I want to be my own source of strength for myself. You know, I want to be that empowered woman. Um, and I don't want to have to feel like I have to be empowered by another woman. Like, although we should always be lifting everybody up, you know what I mean? But we should also stand on our own two feet as well. Um, so, so I feel like, um, when we see somebody that maybe we once idolized and then we see them taking a completely different path from what we ever thought they would ever do, it does shake us up a little bit and it does make us a little bit nervous and, and, and concerned. Um, and then we start to wonder and we start to ask ourselves, what is going on? Am I doing something wrong? Is there something that I don't know about? Or, um, I thought all along that this was this the, what I was doing was okay, but now all of a sudden it looks like it's a bad thing. So there's a lot of that, like a lot of those questions floating around with a lot of you guys. And a couple of you will come into my DMs and ask me questions because, and I think it's I think you guys asked me because um, I verbalized in many videos and even in like instagram stories and stuff when i'm having like a down day <laughs> i have verbalized my past i have come from um a, a christian background and um and i've walked away from the path um and so i feel like a lot of you guys do come to me with those questions because you know that that's my background and so you figure well if i'm being triggered by it then rose is probably being triggered by it too so you know um, so that's why I have you guys in my DMs and I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. I do my best to answer your questions as, as soon as I can. Um, but I don't always have the answer for everybody. So I thought maybe making a video would be easier. <laughs> so the first point I want to make is this video is not to call anybody out and I'm not going to be listing names of any of the people I mentioned. Um, if you're in the, the community, then you may know who these people are, um, but I'm not here to point fingers and I'm not here to start drama and all of that. I'm just here to say that um, this is where I'm coming from, from this experience. Um, last night, there was also another YouTuber I follow who um, is, a, is a male witch. Um, and he performs, he, he practices witchcraft and he does videos about it and stuff. And he put out a video last night. I think it was last night he uploaded it, um, or yesterday sometime, um, about his response to people who have been commenting on his videos who are Christians and who are like pretty much telling him, um, you're, you know, you need to 
rebuke what you're doing and this and that. So, you know, you know how that is. Like every once in a while you'll get a comment like that. And some people mean well, and some people are just trolling and hiding behind the shield of Jesus. Like <laughs> that's just what they do. Um, so he came up with a really, really good video and I, and I, <laughs> I want to link it, but then I don't want to like, like I said, I don't want to put anyone out there um, because I'm not trying to put any extra attention on people. But chances are, if you follow the community, you know who I'm talking about. Um, but the video was really inspiring and it brought a lot of comfort. Even though my path is different from his, um, I really enjoyed his approach to it because I feel like he pretty much said what a lot of us are thinking. Um, and he said it very classy and eloquently. So, <laughs> um, so I was really inspired by that video too. So that pretty much caused me to feel like, you know what, I want to come out and talk about this. Um, and just say for you guys who are watching, cause I know I have so many people who watch me, um, and you watch my path. And <laughs> when you see big, big name, like I put that in quotes because it's just like, it, it's, I guess most of these people who have since followed, like fell off the, the path of tarot or the path of witchcraft or whatever they do, um, they do have a large following. So big name people, um, <laughs> um, since a lot of them have, you know, veered off the course, um, and now I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> But since we've seen that, um, I feel like it's just kind of like it does. It adds a little bit of a, a con concerned element to us, at least to me too, you know, every once in a while. Although this last person who left, I kind of saw it coming. Like it was kind of like pretty obvious with her that her interests were changing. And I think that the, because she came, up with the, came out with her video to announce it and to explain things, um, it gave you a sense of closure. So I think that that's why that one I was like, okay, well, whatever, you know, wish you well and that's, that's that. Um, but I feel like for, for someone like me, um, I have the tendency to allow things like that to trigger me or get to me or upset me or or rock my foundation because of my past. And I think that that's um, an important element for a lot of you guys who are watching. If you find yourselves becoming upset or you find yourselves becoming confused or, um, you know, just a little bit shocked by, you know, someone's choice to go on to another spiritual path, it's not that person. It's not their fault. It's nothing about them. It's you. And that's what I learned with back in 2018 when I made my other video and when I was talking about the other person who left, um, I realized that it wasn't that person doing it to me or doing it to us as a community or whatever. It was me. And so, um, it was, I had to put myself in check with that. And I realized I have issues with people leaving the witchy community or the tarot community and going on to a Christian path because I came from that path and it was really, really hard for me to turn my back on that path and still is to this day hard for me. I do have my days of doubts or I have my days of like feeling confused and, and whatnot. And I don't think that'll ever leave me because I was heavily raised that way. So it's really hard to wipe away years and years and years of what you were brought up and raised to believe in. So, um, so I feel like, <laughs> I feel like because I, that was my background, that's why something like this would bother me more versus somebody who maybe grew up and they didn't grow up in a religious family or they didn't grow up in like a Christian family and stuff like that. So they never really had the Christian experience. Um, and so to see somebody going from tarot to the Christian church or growing to the Christian path or belief system or whatever you want to call it, um, it doesn't bother them. They're just kind of like, okay, that's cool. Maybe it's interesting. Maybe they, there's just something that they find there. Whereas those of us who were part of it and it took us a lot 
it took a lot out of us to get out of it. We we're just like, oh my gosh, why would they go back to that? Why would you want to go back to that belief system? Or why would you want to go back to that path? And it freaks us out. So, <laughs> so you really have to put yourself in check with that. If you find yourself becoming upset or frustrated or confused or shooken up <laughs> by someone's choice to go to back to the church path. Um, what other point do I want to make? Um, I also want to make the point of we all have the ability to freely decide what we want to believe in and what path we want to be in. Um, everybody, you, me, and so-and-sos and so-and-sos. Um, I made my choice seven years ago <laughs> when I discovered tarot. I was already starting to kind of like teeter, but um, I've always kind of just been the girl in my family that was just not 100% subscribed to everything that my family was subscribed to. I just always had a much open, more, much more open mind <laughs> and a much more curious outlook on life and beliefs and faith and, and all of that. So my interests were always weird growing up. Um, I always kind of rocked the boat with my family. I always tested the waters. I was a little bit more daredevilish as a teenager than I am now. Um, because as a teenager, I didn't really care about anyone else's feelings. Um, I was kind of in my own bubble. Um, and then now <laughs> I'm very much aware of other people's feelings. And, um, I guess it's just, I approach my situation where, I don't want to rock the boat with my family. I love them, but I just can't be a part of what they believe in. At least, I don't think I could ever be a part of it. Maybe that will change one day. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but it's just never been, it's just never attracted me. Starlight, get down. Oh my gosh, she likes to jump on the screen door and it just sort of freaks me out. Get down, Starlight. I think she like sees a bird and then she thinks, oh, let me just jump on the window. One of these days she's gonna pop that screen door out and it's gonna freak me out. Get down, Starla. Oh, I don't wanna get up and get her. Oh my God, hopefully she could figure it out. Starla. I think her little nail is stuck in the screen. Um, so I'll just have to keep an eye on her. There we go. This cat, man. Okay, so um, so that's another point I wanted to make is that you guys are free to make your own choices. You you don't let don't be influenced by somebody else simply because they're doing something one way and you think that you should be doing it their way because you idolize them. Like that is where it is a problem. I'm gonna get my breakfast by the way. That's where this is a problem. Um, when when we start to idolize people i'm just gonna have to do it like this <laughs> when we start to idolize people Okay. I'm like wearing my little shorts. So I'm like, don't really want to be on camera with my shorts. So I'm glad that Starla was able to get off of her. Get out of that window. Hopefully this doesn't fall. Um. <laughs> oh my God. What a mess. This video is a mess. Um. So that's why I think like we have the problem with idolizing people is you place them on a higher pedestal and then you start to think, well, so-and-so does this, like I should be doing it too because, you know, I idolize them or, or I'm really inspired by what they do and I want to do it their way. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's flattering when someone tells you like, oh, I look up to you and I want to be like, I've had people tell me they look up to me or, um, you know they're inspired by a video I, I made or they love to, they love the way I read cards and they want to read it my way. And I love it. I like, it's very flattering, but I also like want to make sure that those people are also aware that they can be just as amazing, like, 
or even more amazing than me because I'm not I'm not that great you know like <laughs> so it's just kind of like just because you like the way someone does something or 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 looks or whatever doesn't mean that you can't be that way like you could be that way and even better so it's just all it's all in how you approach the situation bottom line um but I think what happens is with a lot of you guys who are in my DMs concerned, um, we all have a personal background. And nine times out of 10, some of you guys who are concerned have had backgrounds in Christianity where you're kind of lost, you're teetering on it because you're not sure. Maybe you're like me and you have really like strict family members and they're just like always putting their two cents in to everything that you do. So it's it's natural for you to start to doubt yourself and whatnot. But it's also important that you recognize why are you on the path that you're on right now? Is it fulfilling you? Is it happy? Does it make you feel good? Um, do you feel comfortable doing what you do and believing in what you believe in? You know, those are big questions to ask yourselves. Um, I do that to myself all the time. I really have to like step outside of myself and see the situation as a whole because I have to remind myself, well, why did I leave the path to come to this one, you know? And it's usually a lot of like, I just wasn't happy. I wasn't fulfilled in that way. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. Um... It's interesting, it is interesting to me though, I will say, coming from my own personal perspective and my own like opinions, um, when I see a tarot reader who, or a spiritual person who is on the path and they're, you know, they have like an amazing following and they have a business and whatnot, and then they just throw it all out and they just go on to a completely different, a completely different path that is like, the complete opposite of basically of what you were doing like that just blows my mind and I do have a hard time at times understanding that um, because to me it's like I wouldn't want to go back to that path that I that took me so long to turn my back from you know there was so many tears and like doubt and just like awkwardness and I'm still not 100% from it you know I don't know if I'll ever be 100% from it but when I think about that, it's like, oh my God, I don't think I could ever want to turn back and go back to that. But some people just do and they're allowed to, like my husband said yesterday, they are allowed to make their decisions. They are allowed to do what they want to do because it's their life and it's their choice and it's their beliefs. Um, and we have to, you know, accept that. And I think that also you guys, like when you choose to follow people, to subscribe to their channels, their YouTube channels, their Instagrams. And then when you start to idolize people or you just, you have like your favorite readers or your favorite YouTubers or whatever, you also have to keep in mind that that is a person who has a whole life outside of YouTube, outside of Instagram. And they're gonna make decisions that you may not always agree with. Um, they may have beliefs that you don't agree with or their political stance may not be completely what you believe in and that's okay. Like, <laughs> I think that it's, it's, I think we're becoming, um, it, it's becoming one of those kind of like societies these days where it's like, you, it's like, it's either you believe what I believe or I don't want anything to do with you kind of a thing. And it's just like, you're becoming just as close minded as those people that you're like preaching about. So I just feel like um, where does where do you draw the line with that, you know? And and to me, it's kind of like you have to understand that we're all individuals, we're all humans, we all have um, our own approach to things. We all do things differently. I mean, put me in a room with a bunch of other people to make scrambled eggs. I'm sure we're all going to do it our, a different way. We're not all doing it the same way. <laughs> and that's the beauty of life. And that's the beauty of who we are. So, um, I think that like, to me, it's my choice, you know, to, to decide if I want to continue following so-and-so after they change their path. Nine times out of 10, I probably won't because it doesn't resonate with me anymore um, and whatnot. 
but I'm not going to bad mouth them, you know? So I think it's just kind of like, if you guys find yourselves becoming triggered by someone else's choice to do what they want to do with their own life, you got to take it back a step and ask yourself why. Mm. And do kind of like a, a more inner focus, do a hermit. <laughs> Do a hermit card. Focus on yourself and ask yourself, why does this bug why does this bother me? And you may find yourself answering that question real fast. So there's that. Um I also want to talk about like just my spiritual connection right now because that that was another question that a lot of people have been asking me or had been asking me not even before this whole video came out um like what is my beliefs like what do I believe you know and my beliefs are always changing they're always molding and changing I'll be honest um but <laughs> I feel like I have a very open mind when it comes to my faith I believe in, I do believe in God, um, or at least like that universal source energy, but I don't believe in the church's way of God. Like, does that make sense? You guys, um, I'm very much more open about that kind of thing. Like, I don't feel like everything that's crammed in a single book is the only way. Um, I just don't. I have a really hard time with that because I have a I have a huge perspective on the world and a huge perspective on the universe and I just feel like we're just a tiny speck in this amazing universe and to follow all of the rules in one single book is just it, it just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> um I, I mean I can go off on a tangent with that like I have very much more extraterrestrial approaches to my beliefs if you want to say that <laughs> um some of you guys are gonna be like what <laughs> but that's yeah that's where I go with mine with mine so um I, to an extent yeah I do believe in God but it's it's a different kind of a God from what the church teaches so I'll just leave it at that now will it change maybe <laughs> um but I just can't, I don't live in a box. I can't live in a box. I have to have, I can live in a box, but I need like a view. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't just be enclosed. And this is like the one way, you know? Mm -mm. I've always been a gray area kind of a person. Um, not a black and white. So that's just how I've been. I've always been that way. And I think that's one reason why. <clears throat> I have always felt like I just didn't fit in with my family because my family is very black and white. Um, and I'm just not, I wasn't made that way. <laughs> my mind just doesn't work that way. I always have questions. Um, and I just feel like I see things in different perspectives. And then it's like, I can't just count my intuitive psychic feelings. <laughs> psychic um so there's like a whole other ball game with all of that but that's just where I'm at with all of that like I just don't subscribe to a single mindset a single belief system a single way of of, of this and that I just don't <laughs> I really don't um and I feel like also as we get older ooh, the moon has entered Taurus nice we're out of that Aries season. Aries isn't my favorite. It's not. I don't have a lot of Aries in my chart, so Taurus is more like it. <laughs> um. So yeah, I just wanted to come on here, you guys, and do a little chit chat about that. It's already 30 minutes in, so I guess I'll just end the video. Um. Hopefully that kind of cleared up some confusions or it just brought some comfort to some of you guys. Um, I just wanted to say like, just because someone leaves a path and goes on and does their own thing, doesn't mean that you have to also. Stop idolizing people, stop idolizing people as like, 
if they're gonna do something, then you have to do it too. No, <laughs> do your own thing. Um, there's nothing wrong with having favorite people or favorite readers or favorite YouTube channels. Like we all do that, I do that too. But don't let someone's choice trigger your own. Um, don't let somebody's words and actions, you know, influence you to do the same thing. You have to have your own mind, you know? You could be inspired by something someone says or someone does. Um, like from my video, if some, if this inspires you, cool. If it doesn't, that's okay too. But um, I'm putting it out there for me, really. Like a lot of my videos where I'm just talking, it's my own therapy. <laughs> but um, do your own thing is what I'm saying. And then if you have questions or if you have doubts about something, go and investigate it, you know? If you're curious about the Christian path, read up on it. You know, read read the Bible, read up on the Christian path, follow Christian YouTubers or whatever, you know? Feed yourself with knowledge of whatever it is that's confusing you or causing you to be curious about something. Same thing for the witchcraft or the tarot or the spirituality or the new age or aliens or whatever. If you find yourself curious about it, read up on it that's the only way you're gonna feel, you're gonna know and you're gonna figure it out on your own is investigating um you're not gonna find it by having someone else tell you what to do you know um i did a lot of reading on on the new age stuff i, I still do a lot of reading on it like i love to read it non it's my nonfiction topic of choice you know spiritual um uh, positive types of spirituality like just that kind of stuff fuels me and helps me understand my path a little bit more you know um but if something is like really causing you to second guess and whatnot I challenge you to dive into it a little bit you know and ask yourself discover what is it about it that is causing me to be so interested or curious or repulsed by it you know um because feeding your knowledge on it is power, in my opinion. Um, and if you're going to go blind and just start judging people and judging things without any knowledge on it, to me, that's just um, ignorance. It's ignorance. Um, and so that's, to me, that's why it's like, to me, it's like I, I, I place judgments on the Christian path to an extent because I lived it. It was part of my life for a long time. Um, so I have knowledge on it. <laughs> but, you know, you, I'm not going to be bashing, like, things that I don't know, you know. I, I challenge you guys to read up on it. That To me, that's, like, one of my favorite things to do is to read up on topic that I just don't understand. Um, or do you just don't say anything at all, you know what I mean? Um, but... It does seem like, cause <laughs> so one of you were, was in my DM and one of you was like, hang on a second. Sorry guys. Sorry, but not sorry. Like, I wanna talk, but I can't talk with like plugged up nose. Okay, um, my nose is all red now. Um, some of you guys were in my DM and you were like, um, doesn't it seem like there's been more tarot readers or whatever that have been like going to the Christian path like what's going on and I'm like yeah it does it really it really does like I'm not gonna lie it does um I have seen at least five six if you count Doreen Virtue so six six tarot readers slash witchy people slash creators whatever you want to call them since 2017 because I think Doreen Virtue's conversion was in 2017 so that's only the last three years or two years oh my god two years um well pretty much three years because we're pretty much going to be in 2020 soon which is wild <laughs> um but yeah that's a that's a lot that's like two oh, two a year three a year that's a lot that's a lot because our community is not large it's not large. It's not a large community. The tarot community, it's a little bit different, like on Instagram. Instagram's tarot community is a little bit different from YouTube's tarot community and 
Instagram's witchy community is a little bit different from YouTube's witchy community, but they're very small, okay? Um, but yeah, that's a lot. It is, and so it does. It does feel like, and I'm sure that there's many others, but I just, by chance, I haven't followed them. <laughs> so I'm just talking about the people that I have followed or the people that I've been subscribed to on YouTube. And it's, yeah, it shocked me too. It's kind of like, what is going on? Like, oh, am I missing something? <laughs> And it's just, I think it's one of those things where it's just coincidence that it's like, it's been happening frequently because it's probably been happening a lot more frequent and we just didn't really put a lot of focus on it because it just wasn't on our radar. It just wasn't, we weren't following those people or whatever. So it just so happens that a lot of these people that have been switching over, um, I have been following and one of them, I took her mediumship course. And so that was a really a shocker for me <laughs> because I took her mediumship course and um, I think it was like a two or three part course and I took it a couple years ago and I really enjoyed it and I really liked her content she was a smaller medium channel but um, she knew her stuff she was pretty good I, I enjoyed it I was involved in her Facebook group and all of that and then it was like, all of a sudden, I was like, oh, I haven't heard from her in a while. Let me go see what she's up to and I'll look her, look her up on YouTube or Facebook or whatever. I don't think she's on Instagram, but at least I don't follow her on Instagram. And <laughs> when I looked, at her, looked her up, I realized, holy crap, like all of her stuff's mostly deleted or um, she has a couple new videos up, but they're like completely different. Like what's happening here? <laughs> so, you know, she made her announcement. She was... A Christian um, and then you know there was there was um, a couple youtubers um, a couple uh, tarot readers slash youtubers and then there was also a deck creator there was somebody who I own I own one of her decks and I think I own like one of her earlier versions like the first edition of this deck <laughs> um, and I think she had since created a second edition maybe a third I don't know I really didn't follow her too much with the deck thing but I remember, um, I remember I bought her deck because I was, I saw the other tarot reader who has since gone to the Christian path advertising it. And so it's kind of funny how that happens. <laughs> and so this deck creator, um, is no longer creating that deck. And so that deck is abs uh, it's obsolete. Is that the right word? Obsolete. So it's pretty much like, it's out of print, obviously. It's not being created anymore. I don't even think she finished the third edition or whatever edition she was working on. I think she just completely cut it out. Um, and so so now I'm like, ooh, now I have like a treasure, like a, a rare deck now, you know? Because it's like, it's literally the first edition of what she created. Um, but it's like, dang, she's no longer doing it anymore. So there's been a lot of that. I have been, I have definitely been noticing it. And yeah, it kind of raises an eye. Like it makes you think like, what's going on, you know? But it's just, we change. We change, you guys. And I know I said I was going to end this video and it's already like eight minutes in, but who cares? I told you guys it was going to be long. So um, we change. A lot of us who are starting this path start really young. Um, we're in our early 20s. We're, you know, fresh out of high school. So uh, chances are like who I was 10 years ago, I'm 33, so 10 years ago I was 23. I was a very different Rose in 23, when I was 23. And then 10 years prior to that, I was what, 13? I was a way different Rose at 13. So I mean, we grow, you guys. So a lot of these people who are changing their paths up, um, they're, they're at different ages, but the, the majority of them are between the ages of 25 and like 35. I want to say it was like in that ballpark. Um, <clears throat> with the exception of Doreen Virtue. <laughs> but, um, I mean, between that age though, like when you're in your like mid to mid, mid twenties to mid thirties, even like, even up to your forties, I think once you hit your forties, I feel like I'm not there yet, but I feel like once you hit your 40s, you pretty much like know who you are. Like your 30s, you kind of know who you are. Your 20s, you really don't. You're just all over the place. <laughs> You're just all over the place. Oh my gosh, what was that? Was that an orb? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Um, and so... <laughs> And so, um, yeah, in your 20s, you're all over the place and whatnot. And so you're always evolving. You're changing. 
And so a lot of these creators, these these tarot readers and whatnot, they're young, you know? And um, your life changes, you know? You get married or you move out and you get a new job and you're just doing different things and your interests change. So you're not always gonna be seeing the same version <laughs> of a person. And that's the way it is. I, and, and then someone else commented on the video that I was talking about. And they said, we all have to end somewhere, you know? And I was like, that's so true. Like, some of us are not, I'm not going to be on YouTube forever. At least I don't think I am. <laughs> Eventually, there's going to be a day where I'm going to decide I don't want to do videos anymore. Or where I'm just not going to be uploading anymore. And then I just kind of like disappear there's gonna be a day where I probably won't be on Instagram anymore or there's gonna be a day where I'm just like not gonna have a visible face online anymore I'm sure that'll happen you know um, we just change we're human beings we evolve <laughs> so try not to take it to heart you guys when you see somebody s switching paths and whatnot and like I said, if you find yourself triggered by it, upset by it, frustrated, confused, take a look back at yourself and ask yourself, why? Why is this bothering me? And then you'll probably find out more about yourself than you thought you knew. And then just keep in mind, just because someone is going off to the Christian path doesn't mean that you have to, okay? Like that's so important. Just because they are doesn't mean you have to. You don't. And you're not a bad person if you don't. And you're not a horrible, horrible, evil person if you don't. Just, just don't, don't worry about that kind of stuff. And if you are worrying about that stuff, then you need to do a deeper look. Have a deeper look at your spirituality, your faith. And, and investigate more, you know, about the Christian faith and whatnot. Because when you really look at it outside of just being a Christian, like when you step outside of it and you really look at it, you kind of start to see it differently. And that's what happened to me. <laughs> so you, I challenge you guys to investigate further and feed yourself with some knowledge, you know. But anyways, I'm going to finally end this video. So if you guys have any questions or comments you would like to say, please leave them below. I do read them. Um, and I don't know, maybe there'll be a part two of this video, depending on if I get questions and new topics and whatnot. But I hope that this kind of like, I hope when, I hope this comforted some of you. <laughs> I hope that this like shines some light on the topic for some of you. And just for number three, I hope it entertained the rest of you. <laughs> So anyways, you guys, thank you for watching and I guess we will tune in next time for another chit chat and all of that. So love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.